Now, very quickly, we turn the crack to Milimani Law Court, where the High Court is set to make a ruling this afternoon on whether to vacate or extend the conservatory orders. Our very own Ruth Wamboy has been there for us. Wamboy, what are we likely to see from the courts this afternoon? Good afternoon, Doreen Arange. We are coming to you live from Milimani's High Court, whereby you understand today is a D-Day, a make it or make it uh, ruling is set to be had from 2.30 p.m. for the impeached Deputy President Rigathi Gashagwa. You understand that uh, Rigathi Gashagwa had gone to the Court of Appeal on Monday to seek orders that uh, the bench is not properly constituted and that the dis DCJ Deputy Deputy Chief Justice Philomena Mwilu had in law by empaneling the bench to hear the matter. The matter was, as Gashago went to the Court of Appeal, he said the matter as urgent. But uh, the bench at the Court of Appeal led by Justice Patrick Kiage, George Odunga and Agri Muchelule scheduled the matter this morning. The matter has been uh, heard this morning and the the bench has given a ruling at exactly 12.30 p.m. and it has declined Gashagwa's bid to have this ruling at 2.30 p.m. not be heard. Remember, Gashago wanted all the proceedings here at the High Court uh, handled by this bench led by Justice Eric Ogola, Anthony Murima and Frida Mugambi be stopped. But the Court of Appeal has declined that bid and now we are waiting at 2.30 p.m. for the bench led by Justice Eric Ogola to come and give its ruling. Remember, the ruling is about setting aside the conservatory orders that had been issued by a Kerugoya law court by Justice Richard Mwongo. Justice Richard Mwongo gave Gashagwa a temporary relief to to, stay, to to stop the impeachment until the case is had and determined. But the D-Day is this 2.30 p.m. when this bench will give a ruling on whether it is setting aside those orders or it is staying the orders. So remember, just for the benefit of our viewers, if this three-judge bench this afternoon sets aside the orders, then uh, tomorrow we will have a new deputy president who is uh, Kithure Kindiki to be sworn in. Remember, if the orders are set aside, remember the new deputy president is supposed to be sworn in between 8 a.m. and 2 p.m. So even if the orders are set aside, side this afternoon, Kindiki cannot be sewn in. We'll have to wait for tomorrow, Friday, for him to be sewn in. But if this bench this afternoon decides that uh, it is going to stay the conservatory orders, then Gashagwa's case will have to be listened and determined. Until when it's determined is when uh, we will have in a new deputy president. So those are some of the issues that we are waiting for them to unfold this afternoon from this high court at uh, Milimani. Back to you, Doreen Arange, for other news for our viewers.